Kenyan motorists are flocking Busia town in Uganda to buy fuel, making long queues at the stations that have the stock. The rush has been sparked by a shortage with a litre of petrol that was 120 shillings, now priced at over 150 shillings, which is about 50,000 Uganda shillings. <laughs> It's not that all fuel is over. The petrol is the one which is giving us challenge. But with the diesel, it's available. Now we are getting a lot of customers from that side of Kenya. You know, I saw that those people in Kenya, there's no fuel. So most of the customers are coming here. Some are buying fuel in jerry cans. The motorists are using Kenyan currency to pay for their fuel. Due to the high demand, some of the petrol stations have run out. For the first time in our history, we are seeing Kenyans coming for fuel from Uganda. So as we speak now, already some of the petrol stations in Uganda have run out of fuel. They told NTV that the fuel supply in their country could have been affected by what's happening on the global oil market. With the shortage, fuel dealers across the border had started rationing the amount of fuel sold to motorists. Well, there are some petrol stations which are receiving but uh, little, little, and then now the demand is also very high. The presence of Kenyan motorists seeking fuel in Uganda has raised concern about Uganda's own supply, considering the fact that the country has recently suffered a similar scarcity. Because the moment fuel is in short supply in Uganda, then it means uh, the prices are going to go high for fuel, prices of uh, commodities are going to go high, and the cost of living and inflation will follow suit. But what is the problem with East African community? Why don't you come together, put money together, come to this business of washing our own fuel here and use? 